This will be a fairly brief tutorial showcasing a workflow on how to prepare a properly resized photo, a sketch superimposed on that photo but exported separately, as well as, the, as a mask guiding the generative tool Contextual Sketchscape to generate imagery where the sketch is superimposed. So having started GIMP here, we can just go back here to File Explorer and click and drag this by Alt tabbing back into GIMP here. And we want to rotate this. And in terms of the color profile, we can convert it to the sRGB, the GIMP built-in sRGB. Very good. So with the image properly loaded, the first thing we can do is to crop it in a square aspect ratio here. So here in the fixed aspect ratio, we just click on this and then we can do one to one. And then we can just start by clicking and dragging here in the canvas. And then, yeah, this might be suitable. You might want to have a little more to the left here. Yeah, to get rid of that scene there. So we can do like this perhaps. Yeah, so this will be the crop that we choose. And then it's just enter to confirm this. Very good. Uh, and as you see here, we have unchecked, or it, the option is unchecked, delete crop pixels. So the layer itself is still. So if we change the tool to the move tool, we can do like this. We can move it still. I'll control and Z to undo that. All right, very good. Next thing is to scale the image to the proper pixel dimensions. So image and scale image. And then we'll do 512 times 512. Very good. And scale. And then we'll, if we hold control and scroll forward, then you zoom in again. Very good. So this is the background image that we will, that we will export separately later on. As of now, we can start a new layer here. And then we can make sure that it has a transparent fill. Okay, very good. We can change the tool to the pencil brush, to the paintbrush. And then we'll choose an adequate size. I think perhaps uh, if we double click, we can manually input this. 10 perhaps. Let's try this here. Yeah, it works. Control Z. And then we can just um, very roughly in this case, but just sketch here. So perhaps it has a circular base or sort of circular base. It extends perhaps here. That was very, <laughs> not very straight. So I can undo that hole and then we'll redo that. And then we can just click there. Uh, and then we can hold shift and to make it straight. And perhaps it should not be too high here. Uh, it can be still like this, perhaps like a two story, <laughs> two story. We don't know yet. Uh, all right, perhaps it should have a gabled roof, but still with that there, I don't know how this will come out, but we'll see, it's part of experimenting. So like holding shift, you can do a straight line there. Very good. And like that, and like that. And then I don't know if it should have an edge there or not. Perhaps we'll omit that edge there. And then let's see here, we can have a large, a large arched window there, like that. And then we can have an entrance here. like that. All right, so now that we have the silhouette approximately right, we can start a new layer here. And it can have, uh, in this case, it will be a background color since our background color is white. And okay, and make sure that that layer, click and drag it underneath. And let's see here, uh, should, perhaps we'll add some, uh, make sure you are in the correct layer as active. So this layer here, uh, we can do spruced windows. I don't know if the correct term is spruced windows or that. Like that. And um, I don't know, perhaps a small um, chimney as well. Like that. And like this. Undo that with Control Z. All right, and then we can just click here, or oh, sorry, we can just click here to change the background color and then just make sure that this is not too evident. All right, yeah, not, 
evaluating this in terms of uh, architectural aesthetics, but simply as a test here. All right, I'm hiding the white layer there as well. So now we got the sketch layer as well, and it has some white there, but that is uh, not uh, problematic because we will export it with a white background later on. Uh, and then the thing that we should do now is to make sure that we have a mask as well. And since we have a silhouette here that is, um, what do you call it? It's uh, complete or it does not have any holes or openings in it. Then we can just do this the bucket fill tool and we can create a new layer that is transparent. So we'll change that to transparency, fill with transparency. And then we'll make sure that we, in the paint bucket here, that we sample yeah, that we sample merged, yeah, that this option is active. Because then we can have in this separate layer, which is empty as of now, we can still have the other layers visible and the bucket tool will pay respect to what is visible, but still paint in the new layer. Here. So we'll do like this. And sorry, uh, I'll do Control Z and we of course need to um, disable the visibility of the original one here to make it easy on us, like this. Perfect. And then with only this layer, uh, with this layer selected, we can go to colors and invert. So that is white. And then we can hide the sketch. And then we can, yeah, with the black still selected here as foreground color, we can do like that. So now we have a adequate mask as well. So we have a mask, we have a sketch, and we have the original photo. Uh, then, as such, we can do like this. We can export the original photo here. So I'll hold Control and Shift and press E on the keyboard to export. And this will be the sharp test with Contextual Dreamscape. And we can do a new folder here that's called GIMP. And this one can be called then with the suffix of um, photo or original, original resized perhaps. All right, JPEG is totally fine. Let's do 95% there. And then we can hide this layer and show these two. This will be our sketch then. So we could uh, do JPEG, uh, we could also do PNG. So this is the sketch. Very good. All right, and then we export this. All right, now that it's exported, and now the final is the mask. And with those three exported, let's see if we go to footage and then we go up to GIMP here. Yeah, we have the original image. We have the sketch of what we want to add. And we, want, we have the mask here that, that finds the areas where we will try to generate new imagery in black and in white where the image should stay as this. This concludes the tutorial.